Uh, I want to explain the complete relationship between the class and JSP files inside the online voting system project. So uh, let me check the project. Online voting system is here. So first I want to run this. How to run the project? Just you need to make sure your database is in running condition. So now you can see my database, um, MySQL Workbench in running and um, that is the database for online voting system so leave it as it is just right click on the project click on run as and run as server select a server tomcat or any uh, tomcat server so uh, just click on next and finish wait to load this you can see the project is loaded so yeah here A user needs to enter the voter ID for the vote purpose so if you want to create a new user or a new user want to register in the system so you can click the create user and for the dummy data I'm inserting some data here so you can see for the login ID you need to proper uh, mail mail ID or some combination with the at the rate and dot com right so here you need to enter the date so date will be like uh, you need to enter this the in the slash format like uh, like this in this format and here you need to enter your voter card number so I'm going to enter the voter card number like uh, 58855 some dummy number and just click on sign up click on sign up when form is submitted and data is submitted and it will go to in the database the entries goes to in the database and the user file here in the user class you can see the new entry here and if this user wants to vote so we can just enter the voter id here and submit and you can enter the voter id again and select any party and you can vote in similarly the admin can check the detail of uh, the results and all the parties detail he can add a new party from here if you want to check the result he can check you can see the two vote for the democrats and independence so there is a one vote for independent so this is the complete functionality some basic functionality of the project so the main aim for to recording this video i'm going to explain how to these things are related how the classes are related to each other how the JSP and all the things are related so this is the format of MBC the model view controller so uh, very first I'm going to explain uh, what is view and what is more um, what is view here and uh, what is controller here and uh, what is uh, model here so which part which we can see in the front front side the user like html jsp css uh, images or um, javascript things will call the front end so for the front end i am using the jsp so this is my the first class i mean the first page of the application so you can see the view let me check the project again once project is loaded so you will see that front page this page is the design is created by this JSP page so here in this JSP page we are, we are I'm using the simple HTML to for the um, view so this is the complete body content and this is the header part this is the footer part so you can see i am including two file here one is footer.jsp and one is header.jsp so i created the separate file inside this uh, jsp folder you can see the footer here is the code of footer uh, jsp you can see it's, 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 these are the links be supported in this code and i am using this just footer section here and entering some data so whenever uh, whenever i need footer i will call this file similarly i'm um, using this header and header header has some menu you can see the create login and user login logouts and boat home 
this thing I'm inserting here this is one common file and in whenever I need a header I will call this file so on that my welcome page user login view I'm including this file header.jsp so it will show the complete header of the application right here so there is a two types of header uh, user login and admin login once admin will login the header will change and you can see here the uh, home aid result and when user going to login going to enter some id so the header is different so how i differentiate these things i'm just creating a session once i'm getting this session get a session user and i'm inserting the condition here like whenever the role id will be one in the database you can see in the database there is a two different ids are there in the role table so role id one two 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 if role id will be two then it will redirect on another header and if role id will be one then it will show this view you can see the condition user win dot get dot role id equals to one then it will show this data else it will show the other data so this is the uh, complete view of front page similarly in the view uh, welcome view this is the welcome view of the application like uh, whenever i click here this is my home page so welcome to us online voting dot voting system so it is my welcome dot view so whenever i you can see the same header file and jsp file i included in this also similarly the vote view here i need to enter some votes or vote list view this file getting the data like for three parties data first is democrat republic and independent user registration view page you can see here uh, user registration page this is uh, this page you can see the user registration control so you can see here some inputs like this is the input for enter first name enter last name and all that things similarly the login view here parties view where we are displaying the parties detail and all the thing this is the complete view part here in the image folder we are storing the some images which we are using in our code and the css we are using some bootstrap thing and the css thing to make our design good so now uh, our, our design more attractive so in a style.css this is simple code for the designing purpose only so this is the complete view inside this src folder now we need to connect this view to my uh, controller so here you can see a folder in code.onlineboard.controller this is the servlet part of the application this is the control part of the application i'm going to explain you one module that will, will clear you how that we that uh, it's uh, going to work how the controller is going to work controller is just servlet which going to run on the server and the another thing is that exception this is optional if you want to create you can create if you don't want to create don't create this is i'm handling the exception separating some common exception that handling separation that's why i created this classes uh, nothing else and uh, here in the model i am using the database code like uh, we need to get some data from the database we need to insert some data in the database so we will use that model part for the database and the utility package some common things are there like uh, jdbc data sources we need some common things like we have to use in every controller so we define this in the utility package so uh, this is the bean classes like when we use the getter setter like if we want to add some data and we want to get the data in the whole application so we can set the getter setter for the particular uh, particular data so i'm going to explain you how that first how these are things are connected for example i want to register in the application so this is my front page so this data will come so this data will come from the jsp page you can see the register view now just check the form tag 
inside this form tag i am using the user register control what i am doing when this form will be submit it means there is a button uh, you can see there is a button submit whenever this button will submit all the data which will fill in the form will be redirect on this user registration control so what is the user registration control this is just name right now so you need to check what is this this uh, this name will uh, what kind of servlet uh, contain mm, i think i mean cover by this uh, name so you can check inside a view this is my osv view which is common view which contain all the information about the directories or files so i'm going to search this here so you can see here it's registered it's to, it's to using user registration control so inside this controller so it will redirect on this file so this is the controller user registration control here the complete data will come in that servlet and you can see here i am getting the data login dob and for the getting data we use the get parameter thing so request dot get parameter login dob or uh, think close other tapes and uh, wait a second here you can see i am sending the data the first name right so name of the first name is first name so i am getting the data here you can see i am passing the request to get parameter first name so this data will come by this name and will be, it will be catched by this uh, parameter and will pass the complete data here so this is a complete data dov and all the things i controlled here <coughs> once the data will come to me then i need to store the data in the database the next thing so what can i do i i need to send the data to my models in this model package i need to send the data here so inside that user model user model means related to user so in the user model i created separate things separate classes so like uh, i want to add user here is the uh, here i created a method you can see here add a user so uh, i create a method add a user inside this inside this i created uh, i pass a query which says insert into v user values question mark question mark question mark so here we are setting the value the bean dot get first name okay uh, how the data will come here so we will use the bean we if you want to send the data from uh, this controller to this uh, is uh, model part so we will use beans so i created a user beans with the name just uh, first name last name login password and we create and we create getter setter getter method will use to get the data setter method will use the set the method the data so in the controller i get the data from front end and then i am going to send the data to model so first i am going to set the set the data set the data in user bin so here uh, so here i am going to set you can see here bin dot set id like for example is there any example yes get string get long somewhere yes you can see here i set a login right and i set a gender here null and i said dov so i just create a object of that user bin uh, somewhere here i create a object and i'm set the all the values of the data the data will come from front end with the name first name and it will set to the first name method you can see here the method first name and then the data is set once now when i create this user model and i set the data here and this line will when whenever this line will execute it will insert the complete set data on the this data insert into the my database so this is a complete complete process similarly if you if i want to get some data so i create a method like for set role id or next pk now delete data 
find by login so here i am getting a data so just as just i change the request select a strict from b user from voter id equals to equals to this and when i get the data the data will return to bean and similarly here i get the data from database that's why i am set the data here and we will get the data in the controller and just display on the front view so these types of thing, things are connected uh, for the for the for uh, more clarity i'm going to explain like this this is the first part of replication when data will come to on the view then it will goes to the controller then controller will decide it we need to get the data or set the data so once if we, we want to add the data in the database so we will set the data if you want to retrieve the data retrieve the data from the database so we will get the data and this is for the manipulating database in the beans we will use the manipulating the data in the mm, complete project or complete application and uh, one more thing i am using the session so session will just use to man to manage the users like once a user will uh, a unique user will come in the application the one session one unique session will create once you will click on the logout this session will mm, then uh, then uh, then session with goes and um, and it will no more so we can use the login and logout part by the session so uh, to run the project i'm using this uh, tomcat and if you see the pom xml which, which is this which is which contain the complete configuration of the file like i'm using some mysql things i'm using some servlet so this is the apis inside that um, folder you can see here mysql this this api these are the supported api which we are using in my project right